Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again. And today I'm reviewing another 6 inch scale Star Wars figure from the Black Series, Yoda. This figure is from Wave 6, and the retail price is $19.99. Obviously Yoda is not 6 inches tall, but he comes in at 3.5, which is just about right for this 900 year old Jedi Master. They decide to go the soft goods route for his Jedi outfit, and he's based off his original trilogy design, and not the prequel one. On the back of the figure is a good look at the sculpt for his hair, which is painted in light gray, as well as a continuation of his Jedi outfit, which is made out of a light tan fabric that's frayed along the edges. The head sculpt for Yoda looks a little wonky, but that's mainly due to part how the eyes are painted, which are in a way, perfect, since they're not cross-eyed or crooked in any fashion. His gray hair continues around his ears to form sideburns, and everything else, including his wrinkled skin, looks pretty good. Hung around his neck is a necklace, which looks like real string, but it's actually plastic. And holding the soft goods cape together is a brown belt, which has a light tan rope sculpted onto the left hand side of it. Attached to the back of the belt is a small pouch, which has a sculpted flap and button. His three fingered hands have yellow painted nails, which also applies to his feet too. And of course his cape can be removed, to reveal his all brown clothing underneath, including pants and a shirt. It's a little hard to see, but up close you can see that his clothing is textured with a crisscross like pattern design. The articulation for Yoda includes a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders, double hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, a ball jointed waist, ball hinged hips, swivel thighs, and ball hinged ankles. And his weapons and accessories include removable attire such as his cape, belt, and necklace. Along with his lightsaber, which has a removable green blade, his wooden cane, and an homage to the original Kenner figure, which is an orange striped snake that you can hang around his neck. Overall, for about $20, it sure doesn't seem like you're getting your bang for your buck, but I mean come on, it's Yoda, and you know you've got to have him. They certainly packed him out with plenty of accessories, but he's a little disappointing when it comes to the articulation at the knees, and the eyes could use some improvement. With those issues aside, he's still a decent figure, and I'd probably recommend that you pick him up. I hope you all enjoyed this reveal, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Subscribe for hundreds of collectible reviews, including Halo and Star Wars, and follow me on Facebook and Twitter for up-to-date channel news.